first rule of this channel we do not talk about this channel second rule of this channel this is not legal advice so um three signings to uh take a look at today the first and the big one being uh mike williams signs with the jets it's a 15 million dollar deal um a little bit of movement uh that will go on with this so that 15 million dollar deal puts him like beneath what would be like that wide receiver two type range that high end type wide receiver two type range that we saw with the christian kirk uh contract uh, a couple of years ago so like this is not a, a hey we're gonna have to play this guy the other thing is um him coming off the acl last year he has been a little bit injury prone over the course of his career so it doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to come in and have like any of the uh, quote unquote juice left but uh what it does from at least um a fantasy perspective it probably downgrades garrett wilson a little bit um, because his range of outcomes, that top tier range of outcomes is probably going to be coming down just a little bit. The, the, there's going to be a little bit less uh, opportunity to go around. Um, more touchdowns, more opportunities are going to go to Mike Williams. That means they're not going to go to Garrett Wilson. I, I don't necessarily think it's going to hurt uh, Garrett Wilson too much. It's probably also going to make him a little bit more consistent because you know, teams aren't going to be able to take away Garrett Wilson without getting punished somehow, which means there's going to be a little bit more uh, opportunity to go back to Garrett Wilson when teams have to play, you know, uh, balance between the two receivers if Mike Williams is healthy. So, like, overall, I, I, I would maybe move Garrett Wilson down, like, like a one or two slots overall in the draft relative to some other guys because of lack or that, that slight downgrade to overall upside, that range of out, that top tier range of outcomes, the, the probability goes down probably a little bit if Mike Williams is healthy, but that's something to be monitoring over the course of camp when he's going to be coming back from that ACL uh, situation. The other two things to look at, look at is Alexander Madison signs with the Raiders. I think I saw someplace early that it's a million dollar deal. Um, I don't know the details. Uh, last I was looking around for it before I came on was uh, the contract terms were not disclosed. Um, I don't think this really changes Zamir White. I think I'm really big on Zamir White relative to where I think his draft value is going to be. Um, I don't think this changes anything from a roster construction standpoint. Bringing in Alexander Madison is like insurance to the Raiders, either not getting a guy in the draft or if Zamir White goes down early or Zamir White just can't handle the load for the course of the season. Uh, if uh, Madison got that $1 million deal and depends on how much is like guaranteed, it's going to turn around and maybe make it. He might not even make the the, the team at this point. Again, depending on like if someone comes in for the draft uh, for the Raiders. So like this doesn't change anything for Zamir White. If anything, it, it, a signing of uh, Alexander Madison j makes me want Zamir White more because it just goes that they didn't go out and they didn't uh, didn't get aggressive with some of the other packs that were available. Um, talk about Khalil Herbert here in a second. Uh, Rico Dowdle, this is a $1.25 million deal, one-year deal to go back to the Cowboys. I was expecting this. I, I, I expect that he will be the starting running back for the Cowboys. Big asterisk next to this. Um, Deuce Vaughn's probably going to get a little bit of run. Also going to be expecting a guy to get drafted. Um, if not, uh, the Cowboys go out and make a deal. Again, a guy like Khalil Herbert, I'm waiting on to get moved in the offseason. Um, but right now with Rico Dowdle coming back to the Cowboys, like this, again, and this is funny, talking about Alexander Madison, Rico Dowdle is going to basically be this year's Alexander Madison um, right now and the process behind uh, Alexander Madison was not necessarily wrong if you drafted him last year uh, he was in line to get that bell cow type of work again it, sometimes I don't really care how good the guy is it's about the opportunity um, and then with the uh, Vikings just overall their situation was 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 bad the quarterback situation so I wouldn't necessarily jump on board with that idea of that running back dead zone or guys outside of particular rounds. I'm looking for value. And if Dowdle's outside of like those seven, those uh, top seven rounds, those premium rounds, if he would be something that uh, or somebody that I would really throw a dart at because I'm expecting like RB2 potential outcome. And with uh, Alexander Madison, like when he was quote unquote healthy or whatever was going on there, that's about what you were getting for the value that you put into him at certain points in the season. So again, one-to-one -one replacement uh, on Rico Dowdle, you know, like I don't like uh, drafting guys that have very limited upside. I definitely could see that Rico Dowdle is going to have limited upside, but again, 
it's it's that value. And if you remember two years ago with Michael Miles Sanders, sometimes in some drafts was going like out in the, the double digit rounds. It, it doesn't really matter uh, that type top tier value of a guy. It has to do with like what you paid to get him. And if you could go find a running back two in round 10, like, you know, that's that's good return on your investment. That That's a replacement level guy that you can throw in there uh, on a week to weeks or during the buy that's going to sit on your bench when everybody else is scrambling for RB two period, let alone the fact that like I've been able to have that replacement level guy that I can work into those handful of weeks that I'm going to need him on the season. That would be what I would look at with a Rico Dowdle. And again, like I said, the biggest thing is where these running backs go in the draft that I would be most concerned with because uh, one of these top guys going to the Raiders or the Cowboys are going to change my opinion of Dowdle and White. Um, and then there's going to be other guys that are going to go later in the draft that I don't really know anything about it at this point that could go to a good opportunity or good good uh, destination with a lot of opportunity that it would raise them up in my 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 uh, my board. And I want to take a, a lake round swing at them and hopefully get my James Robinson again this year. So anyway, that's uh, about all for today. And uh, if there's more stuff out there and I have some stuff to say, I'll come back.